And thanks for staying with me here on PM Express. In the last 40 minutes, we've been stuck in the first dimension. Right now, I want to switch it up to the fifth dimension. And guess who is joining me for a conversation tonight? He is one God. We're going to have a 360 conversation. And I want to invite him to join me on stage. And that's all we do. Uh, he is a man that many people know, Stone Boy. Someone, please come in. Come into shot and let's have a conversation. And uh, he's joining me now for a big conversation. I know many of you, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much for joining me, Stone Boy. Great to have you on the show, by the way. And many people have been looking forward to this conversation. And let me start with a confession. I have never told you this before, but. Um, I wanted to be a musician um, when I was young, and I actually started my music career way in Nebraska. And I say this all the time. That, that I'll tell you later when we sit down for a comment, when I go into it. He also interviewed me at a point. And then I, can, I can tell him a bit more about myself. Many things about me you don't know. And, well, of course, I'm a disappointed musician. I end up here as a journalist doing this, you know, sometimes boring show, asking all the hard questions. So I'm very happy that Stonewall is going to join me. Prepare, you're going to be asking me questions. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be asking me questions about my music career I'll and then try. I, 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 I let go. But thank you for coming into thank this you so much, conversation. Man. Thank you very it's much. It's an honor to have me you. on this platform because I don't think that, um, you know, um, artists or the creative arts have their ways here as, as often. You, so you're right. I'll deem it as an honor to, you know. This is the first time, actually. Okay, then, it, I, then I win. Yeah, it's, it's I win. always hard, you know. I talk about the economy, numbers, <laughs> statistics, and I'm like, I'm tired. Yesterday we had this long one. So good to have you. Thank Stone you Boy. very much. Great I'm to have you. To and, and indeed, I, I've, been in, I've been in love with your work for a long time. Thank you very much. And recently, I've also noticed your great work you're doing with your foundation. Sure. Um, going into communities and helping them. And then you launched this album, mm. Fit Dimension. I see exactly. that on your... By the time you, you finish, I need to get one of those things that you're wearing. Good. And many say it's put you on the path to the Grammys. I'm not going to let more out mm -hmm. of the bag. Mm -hmm. We are going to take a seat now and have a great conversation. Please follow us as All we right. take a seat. Thank you. So my guest on the show tonight, Stoneboy Livingston Echesetica. And indeed, I'm happy that he could join me. And Stoneboy, <laughs> I've just been telling you before we started, I mean, whilst we did a transition, that I have fallen in love with two songs. The one mm -hmm. is the one you featured Anjali Kujo on. Yeah. Um, it's uh, Manoji. What's yeah. Manoji, by the way? Manoji is a word that, um, um, that means... I'll keep on, literally, man no G, I'll keep on. So just keeping on, basically, yeah. Okay. That, that's an interesting one. It reminds me of a song when I, as I said, will come to that, my own career, uh, you know, keeping on. <laughs> keep on to keeping on. Exactly. my world. Your life's so real. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's me. When it yeah. comes to that, you have to ask me the questions about my, <laughs> my, my musical past. Um, but we'll come to that um, album that you, you uh, recently launched. I, I'm, I'm interested in your life story because a lot of that resonates with me. I want to start there. This a shaman roots of yours. It's fascinating. Mm. Rags to riches, but you've <laughs> never forgotten your roots. I understand for seven years running, you go back there to give with this a shaman to the wealthy. It's more than seven. I think we did the eighth year last year, so this will be the ninth year. It would have been a tenth without COVID, but uh, that's, that's it. Let, let's talk about a bit of that. How does that yeah. inspire your work right now? This stoneware that we see here, um, you know, people aspire to be you, but how does that, those roots inspire your, your current I manifestation? Mean, to start with, I... You know, I didn't choose my roots. My roots chose me. Okay. So I can only be true to my roots, you know, to continue to bear some fruits. Mm -hmm. See? So um, born in a shy man has actually been the reasons why I'm here. Go gone through life, you know, as it's supposed to be. Um, a young, a teenager, you know, who had to struggle from scratch, singing in the hood. You know, I found out that I was very talented right when I was a a very 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 little boy so i also i'm one of those people who went through the church you know route you know um my parents really? were christians christians okay um in deeper life so you can understand the that is as christian as it gets deeper exactly life. i also went to deeper life once oh for real oh yeah i went to deeper life for a long time isn't that way the club exactly yeah oh yeah uh, that's me i uh, would have even sung something already. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what uh, 
But that, uh, that, that was a rhythm. Yeah, it was a constant. Is, it's, a, it's a dancehall rhythm, basically. Here we go. No, no. <laughs> and come to think of it, I, I see a lot of those. And now I know where you're getting yeah, the inspiration from. Reading, you feel me? So I went to the church, you know, route as well. And I know that it harnessed a lot of my, my talent at the point because you, who do, you go to church like three times a week, yeah. including Sundays. I was going to the dawn broadcastings and et cetera. So I think that I use the church premises to also nurture my musical talent and my talent of expression because I, my father was an elder, so I had to also play that role. You know how you sh should be reading the Bible, teaching the children class sometimes, going for dawn broadcasting, etc. So I did all of those, and then while I was in school as well, I think my upbringing was quite, uh, you know, um, 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 how do I say, quite comfortable enough, okay. you know, to have been able to express my innate and the things that make me now but at a point in time was when you had to take charge of your own situations and hit the road and struggle too was when after i had an accident when i was in junior high school three about to complete school and then things began to take some turns and etc family life that i wouldn't want to go deep into so yeah. you know you had to fend for yourself and the only thing that was right in front of me was the talent that I had. So whilst I was going through the senior high school, first year in senior high school, as I like asked myself, you know, the second time, and, out, and this one was out of, you know, the, the, the quest to survive. Like in senior high school one, I was one of those kids who would go to school with the brown and cutty in the, in the pocket because all you have was to take um, transport. And because I had a situation with my knee, I use the money for transport, so it's not going to be enough for my food. Because obviously couldn't walk. Obviously couldn't walk, like from a Shaiman, Lebanon, who knows, knows, to Tema Community 11. I did the walking sometimes. Most of the times I did because I didn't have enough money. My mom couldn't give me enough money to... She, I mean, she's struggling, we're all struggling. We know the situations at home. So you have the brownie cutter in your pocket, still want, want to walk to school. And I think after I was discharged from the hospital, I still insisted to continue my my grades because I wrote my BEC um, a year later, a year after my, 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 my year mate because I was in the hospital. I tried to write in the hospital, but they didn't, it didn't go through, you know. So I came back home, stayed at home for a whole year without going to school, but mm -hmm. I had to read to, you know, write my exams. Mm -hmm. And guess what? I came up tops among the top three. So, wow. you know, I got admission. I had to continue school with my condition. So that's like basically my upbringing and things that really inspire me. So I asked myself in class once upon a time, after senior high school, not in day, Wow. What in day? Now the music, you understand? So a friend of mine would always force me to be like, yo, you can do it. Because I, you know, we find times to be happy as, yeah. as, as black kids, as we are. So I just faced the music and it's it since giving me a place of comfort and a place to also use my story to inspire people. That's why I chose what I chose and no, we're here. And, and the Shaman stories are a powerful one because right now we know the economy is tough. Mm -hmm. And I know through your foundation, you're giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. you, one of the things that I, I, I learned that you focus on is youth empowerment, exactly. right? I mean, uh, I, I, sometimes they say musicians, you, you just do music. You, you, don't, you don't care about the economy. But I, I, <laughs> I, I thought, yeah, it's true. That you, you do music and you make your money and you, you're, not, you're not in touch with the realities of the economy. No, we are. Is that really we, true? No, it's not true. It, it's, it's, to me, I say it's false because we are all existing within an economic system. You know what I mean? And we form part of the, um, f um, um, part of the sector that comes together to make an economy a beautiful and a thriving one. Yeah. So we cannot be seen as people who are d um, disengaged or disassociated with the economy. It's a lie. I don't know how people have managed to get to an understanding like that, to feel that, oh, the Stone Boys and the likes, surprise, the four price cost of crime, the only problem. I think it's a big lie. You we sure? belong to the economy. Okay. If, for instance, I'm making 10 CD today and the economy is thriving and booming and there are structures in place, etc., that should tell you that I'll be making 100 CD in a day. Mm. So it, 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 it would affect everybody equally. And, and because also of your roots, do you, I mean, in the last one year has been very tough. Have you had to carry a bit more burden from your ghetto youth? And you have a song called Ghetto Youth. I really mm -hmm. love that song mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it, it reminds me of my own 
growing up also grew up in, <laughs> i grew up in the zongo by the way yeah, too for, for sure. you know so it, it did get to youth and i know people see me on television and the times are hard they, call, they think because you're on television yeah. you can help them right that's what i'm and, saying you know have you seen that in the last one year become a bigger issue that you have to contend with also because you have the foundation yes it it has increased in, in you know it continues to increase i I, 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 I don't see it decreasing anytime soon because the perceptions are building up to from the, from the roots of the fact that musicians or creative art or once they see you on TV, you have arrived. You know? So that will never end until probably they don't see me on TV anymore. Yeah. But so long as they continue to see you on TV, and of course you have a foundation you know, that you're operating. So everybody will think that, oh, on top of that, you still have a foundation. So for that day, that means that you have some finances that you are dashing because they see in the news, Tomboy celebrates Mother's Day with some selected mothers and widows. I bust them from a shy man, brought them to Royal Nick Hotel, had lunch with them, you know, gave them some stuff, you know, something, you know, that they yeah. could appreciate and yeah. all that. And they blessed, you know, my life with that. People would see it from the fact that I have so much to give, but will not see it from the fact that I have the heart to give, yeah. and I may not have so much. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and one of the things that also struck me is that through your foundation, you are finding your own creative solutions to some of the most exist existential challenges that this country faces. Truth. I noticed that you recently dug a borehole for a community called Bokope Community. No, I'm still digging. That's what oh, you we just announced. Oh, okay, um, interesting. Yeah, we did the research and we went in and then we got the documentary done from last year. Then I was saving up a little to see how I can make this happen. And guess what? We went into the community and realized that the communities over there are all airway speaking communities in the Takrade municipality. Yeah. And so, you know, their water actually has been damaged because of the mining activity. And that for me was an interesting bit. Yes. That the illegal mining that we've been talking about for, I've had many shows yes, here. Many years. Have destroyed their water. They have nothing to drink. They're along the river Pra. Yeah. Those villages are along the river Pra. And you saw that for yourself? Physical. Physical. And... How bad was it? Oh, Tell me about we, it. We, I, I think we have pictures. and it's, it's that bad. Like the color of the water is literally bad. And what they still have and depend on, the, the cleanest is when rainfall is able to harvest the rainfall somehow and it settles. But aside that one, it is a struggle. And to be honest... By the way, that's, that's, that's uh, what, we are, what you're seeing on your screen. Yeah. That's what you yeah. see on your screen yeah. there. And I, so this is what you saw that inspired Yes, you. but this is like even a generic photo yeah. physical photos exist where you can see what they're drinking in front of me that's what they fetch that's how it has to settle so i i i pray to god and i take it into the fact that okay i'm going to save towards that uh, okay. project and l just last two weeks was when we hit the ground i'm digging like four ball holes in four different communities around the same place so it's not like just one ball hole Okay. It, it, it definitely would be adequate enough to cater for. And this is like a big project. I'm, I, I'm not trying to do one of those boreholes where you do chuku 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 and, 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 and it ends, you know, just to be that, oh, somebody came to do. This is like a 10,000 liter polytank situation, digging, we're filtering the water at the same time, making sure the maintenance culture is also very available for the continuity of that situation because I don't seek to do this to... You know, for me, I, I always have a principle. I believe that it's about the legacy. You know, if, if I've come through from the scratch like this, it then should be about the legacy because I've seen and read and have been inspired by many, many, many stories of great people who have beginnings like mine who actually inspire me to continue to do what I'm doing. I think, Stomo, you have a powerful voice. The illegal mining challenge or the Galamsey challenge has been, is one of the most one of the biggest challenges this country faces. Here you are finding solutions for people affected by that. Um, first of all, what's your, what's your position on the problem, the illegal mining problem? What, what, now that you've seen it for yourself, um, what, what, do you, what do you say about it? What's your, what's your position on it? My position on it is definitely where the people stand because look at the situation of the people in such communities the water bodies that have been polluted 
and we all in Ghana drink water from natural water bodies. We don't conjure water from anywhere else. Yeah. And when majority of those water bodies are being polluted, then it's only a matter of time we're all going to be importing water to drink. But those who live in those communities, closer to those communities, are facing it firsthand. I saw on Joy News two, three days ago that people are giving birth to you know, babies without genitals, eyes, etc. Sure. Owing to the chemical um, situations in their water, their food, and etc. That is my stand on the problem. I'm not coming to speak anything for anybody to get hurt. I don't even have the, the, the power to do such. I'm not a politician. I'm not an expert. But I'm an expert, like Rawlings said, in feeling the pain of our people in the same way. Mm. This is a hungry child before, and I can relate. So instead of just talking about the problem, I think I would want to also not be a spectator, like our president said, but be a citizen where I can use my voice, my little bad change that I get from creating music, where I don't think I get really paid enough from the structures that exist in, 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 in the nation. But I still make sure that I'm able to actually do the do and not just be talking. Mm. You know? So if that's had, where I stand for the problem. If you had one suggestion to the authorities, mm. in, it, well, what suggestion would you give in taking this issue on in a way that possibly could lead to some real solutions in stopping or you know, minimizing the legal mining challenge? Well, what, what would be your, your suggestion? To, 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 to the yeah. fight against illegal mining? Yeah. Um, sincerely, uh, the fight against illegal mining has been on probably before I was born. Yeah. The situation has just been escalating and escalating because, you know, um, I would believe that people in power know about it more than we who are standing by because these deals and these, you know, companies, these foreign nationals, these local companies are dealing on government level. I am by means just a citizen, you know, but what I can say is that when I look and read about Johannesburg and all that Perth, which is in Australia and other mining cities or cities where people fetch natural resources, you can understand that their CSR positioning is very strong and cities like Johannesburg is built off of the fact that it is a mining town or mining city, True. but that cannot be said about our mining cities over here in Ghana to have developed to that level where you know that the corporate social responsibility is working, where the companies are actually taking priority in making sure that livelihood is top notch. You know, in certain instances, I think many people should be rushing from Accra to even live in Takradi and Obuasi yeah. because of the standards of you know living, owing to the fact that they are the areas where our natural resources are being mined. So. Yeah. Yeah, you know. let, let, let's come back to music um, for a while because that, that's your, your strong suit. And, and, and listen, uh, Stoneboy, I've seen from everything I've, I've, I've read and followed, you are you're definitely on, on the trajectory towards the Grammy, right? Amen. I mean, <laughs> because I mean, I, I, I get a small digging and I noticed that some of your best works have been produced by international producers for example when i found that, that into the future which is on your, on yeah, your yeah um you know <coughs> the jugglers jugglers you yeah. know the, the german multiple platinum producers were behind that mm -hmm. what has been the inspiration and notice that many of your actually your songs mm -hmm. are not producing at all oh, yeah but, many <laughs> but the ones that are producing are also produced produce by top, top notch and, top notch. and these are people who have the capacity and the quality to bring us the glory of having worked with all the levels of international you know um artists where we have guilty beats he produced run up he actually produced on beyonce's last album and on some other amazing you know big big stars too um so what's the ambition tell me what what be honest with me i, I i'm looking at and say well, mm. are you actually thinking i'm working towards mm. a grammy or you just work and hope that uh, I will land you there. I'm, yeah. I'm just curious here. Yeah. Is it at the back of your head when you're producing, when you're in the studio? I'm actually thinking of working to meet international standard levels that will last a lifetime. Okay. Yes, that is my thoughts when I'm creating all these things. And also getting top-notch, you know, um, uh, professionals involved 
because that gives it the value that it's supposed to have. And then by virtue of this, there's definitely the Grammys will be there, the beat billboards will be there knocking at the doors if you work at, you know, at this level. So that's my, my that's primary your, That's aim. your primary exactly. objective. Yeah. Uh, so that is fascinating because I noticed you have a multiple Grammy Award winner, one of our own next door mm -hmm. called Anjali Kujo on mm -hmm. my favorite track, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. What was the thinking behind bringing Anjali Kujo into the song called Manoji? Um, Manoji was recorded some years ago, to be honest. It was, supposed, it was recorded around my very last album, you know. Um, so it's such a classic song that when, when, I was, when it started as a demo, I knew that this would be a song that could have Angelique Kijo on top of that song. I see. So I hadn't even had any links to her by that time. So I just left it, went on, released an album and etc. But we were still working behind the scenes. So, um, I How think, many years ago was this? Uh, this should be four years at least when the song started to be recorded as a demo. You know, at, at least. So it can go into five, basically. Um, um, yeah, that being said... Uh, Denta actually did a program here in Ghana and invited Angelique Kijo to be a part of it. So I hit her up and I'm like, Big Sis, what's up? I'm so good with her because when she started Guba, we were some of the first people to, you know, be called upon to support and gratefully did. So she connected the two of us and I went to meet the lady, the mummy, we call her. So she said, ah, you, I hear about your son. Da, 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 you stop, boy. You, you, are you Ewe? I heard you. I'm like, yeah. Can you speak Ewe? I said, yes, of course. She was so amazed and fascinated because she hadn't really done a song with an, you know, a Ghanaian who's Ewe. Okay. If I don't know the record, so I must be careful to say Ghanaian yeah. who's Ewe. So she was like, nah, she's loving this. I sent the record over. It was at the demo stages, but she still understood what it could be because she's a pro. She laced the vocals and then we turned it around to such a beautiful song. She's not the only Grammy winning artist on the Shaggy as well is on the album. Oh, Shaggy is yeah. on. So you can understand that we only decided to bring Ghana the best, mm. you know, of, um, of Stone Boy. That, that, <laughs> that, that, that is fascinating indeed. Let's, let's, let's transition that. Uh, Afro beats, right? There, there's something I'm noticing. I don't know when I'm right. Yeah. They say it's called an Afro beat revolution, mm -hmm. which is taking over the world. I mean, we've seen Nigerian arts, yeah. Winning the Grammys, performing on all these international stages. What's your view on that particular genre? And, and where do you place yourself in this revolution? Even did you agree it's a revolution? Mm -hmm. um, yes, I could agree it's a revolution because uh, my understanding would be that it's, 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 it's risen so fast, so much so that it is what the world is speaking about globally. Everywhere you go as a musician, you realize that it's been able to find a place right now on the world charts when music comes to play yeah and interestingly the countries that are supposed to be glorified for such tremendous work would really have got nigeria and ghana amongst the top three just to be fair because i mean i need to leave space I, I can't really, <laughs> yeah just to be fair okay. and that is where i think we are also proud enough to continue to contribute our quota, you know, as a, as, 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 as a nation mm. to the term or the, yeah, the umbrella name, which is Afrobeats that the world, um, the, the, the world knows now and the West would categorize African sound under, okay. you know. I like that term. So in other words, your song is also Afrobeats. Absolutely can be termed as such. Okay. But then, you see, the Afrobeats, as far as I know, I once said it in France, and I, by the time I checked Wikipedia, it was there, because I checked these things often, and that explanation was not what was there. So I was glad that it was also seen like that, because when you do check, it tells you that it's become like an umbrella name under which sounds from Africa are easily placed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So definitely I do Afro dance or reggae music, you know, because of the... With length, width of, of what talent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. I know. If you're from the hood, you yeah, I know, I do, you know? I do. So I do Afro beats and dance and reggae. Everybody knows that I blend these three styles. But when it crosses over, we know dance which is um, a genre that has been formed and populated by Jamaicans, but they also have definitely some significant amount of Ghanaian roots 
I mean, which can say, we can say African roots, which yeah. is right, but I want to claim it. And, you know, it's not like I'm claiming it. I want to state some, some relation right here. So yeah. I think to be inspired as well by reggae music or dancer music is, 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 is in line. Yeah. You know, so they refer to my style as Afrobeats too, because, you know, my songs actually are very versatile enough to fit any type of instrumentational behavior yeah. that would make you call an Afrobeat song an Afrobeat song anyway. So. Why does it appear to me that Nigeria is stealing our thunder? They're taking huge lead in this. Mm -hmm. They're performing at the Grammys. They're performing at, you know, halftime shows. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? Because you have fantastic... Thank you very fantastic, much. Fantastic, 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 shining light in music globally. Thank you very much. What, what, what's, what's, what is the issue there? Um, before I even go into it, I... I want us to, I know we feel the same sentiment, so let us assume for a second, let's yeah. just assume that Nigeria is non-existent okay. right now. Let's just assume yeah. like Nigeria is not in the play. Good, we have. So, <laughs> and it's only Ghana. Yeah. Are we operating well enough to be able to, to, to be that big? Interesting. What do you think? Uh, we are asking. Before I answer, yeah, that's a very fundamental. So that there's question. no comparison whatsoever yet. Mute Nigeria, and ask the question again, and check the ecosystem, check Ghana and what is happening and how we're doing and how we're not doing, and tell me if we are gonna be able to. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now the answer stems from the fact that they are doing so many things right you know, which is worth emulating so that we can also continue to be a part of okay. and also chalk some of these great heights that we deserve. Owing to how history that I've read, one thing that makes me know that we have greats and have had greats that have been undocumented, have not been documented enough for us to mm. use that as the yardstick and strength stick to propel enough is that when I see a godfather like Jidouble Ambule at the age of 76 touring Europe today okay. and playing all these amazing festivals and I also put the eye to the hip life era which is not older than probably Jidouble's era then I realize that <laughs> there's something really wrong yeah in how we grew down yeah. and didn't grow up. Whereas for the Nigerians, when you shoot back into the eras of their fellas, etc., comparing to what, has, what is happening now, you realize that they inclined, they didn't decline. That's a fascinating analysis. Right? So what can we do but also Individually, look at the standard of album that I've dropped. It qualifies to go everywhere in the world. Mm. Videos are going to follow up. It takes investment. It takes a national agenda somewhat. Okay. A national agenda. Exactly. So that it goes beyond you, your personal exactly. initiative. Okay. Exactly. It takes a national agenda as well. It takes um, knowing ourselves and, be, and intentionally exhuming that pride that we are as people, as Ghanaians. Mm. Like when something struck my heart, I don't, I'm not trying to be political about it. When the King of Kings, Ashanti King, yeah. visited... Um, the um, King of England. And the Ashanti Kingdom flag was... I was so happy and gassed. You felt proud. Th that, that is like pride. Not to say that the Ghana flag is not... It's not present. It is because if, I, if my history tells me right, there must be the Ashanti flag before the Ghana flag. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> you see me? So yeah. that's the core. That's like rising spirit of Ghanaians. Yeah. So me too, I feel like these are the things. South Korea is going on tour, world tour. And I really would want to have seen sold out within a few, you know, it because Ghanaians would rush to the forefront. Majority of the Ghanaians in the diaspora would rush 
but that is not the issue. It always okay. becomes a last minute. So we don't patronize our own? We do. Okay. We do. Why not? We wouldn't be here. Okay. But the intentionality brings, the more the intentionality brings the intensity and being knowledgeable about the fact that we need to all play our individual roles and be a part of it is very important. That I can beg to say that majority of us, even, you know, are not putting that foot forward. Whereas the Nigerians will do that any day, any time. I have encountered Ghanaians where you're on tour or you're doing shows, yes, especially outside of Ghana, that would say, oh, yeah, yeah, tese waba. But he caught the video, the end of China. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Well, and the, 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 it's the mindset too. Like they believe that, okay, I say, oh, it's a, and I'm, and I, how much is 50 pounds, 60 pounds, 70 pounds? Yeah. 100 pounds, the max. Yeah. See, I mean, so these. Yeah. So if I asked you to bullet for me what it would take for mm. us to rise and take our rightful place in that global music yes, revolution, yeah. what, would it, what would you bullet it as? What are the key things we need to do today to, to make that leap? Yeah, it may sound like oh, be a can your pair, but I think once upon a time, the government of Nigeria took a decision and gradually turned things around. I think this can be verified by some of the top gurus of Ghana music, you know. And so, therefore, I think we can also replicate such and such. Okay. You know. Specifically, um, what can the government do? Um, there are, there's the creative arts you know, side that exists. I think there should be that the president himself must be very interested because it is such that I know there are so many things going on. But just to make a perfect example, that president at the time was specifically involved and called and said, ah, how, why? Listen, you come. Okay. That put, how do we do this? Put that together, put this together, and they started the revolution. Okay of turning the 419 that everybody was aware of or whatever into the Afrobeat giant mm. of today, you know? So these are the pointers. Government has to be very, very involved. Our creative and art structures have to really work. We have to invest. We have to make it encouraging for people to be able to invest in the movies, the music, you know, the arts, basically, because they are moving hand in hand. Yeah. Nigerian movies are speeding. They're featuring in different heights. So that's just it. We need to pay critical mm. attention. When you take a, like some, somebody drew my attention, an older person, like when you take like a PMP, you see the news, it's an old person, somebody was sharing this story. Yeah. The entertainment news day back. Yeah. Like, that tells you the priority that is placed on, that. on creative arts yeah. in this country. I don't think that we place priority on creative arts so well enough to be able to compete on the global levels, it compete in quotes, you know, because I don't see a competition. I only see representation. Because once you're pushing well enough, you will represent for yourself. And nobody can deny your place, you know, when it comes to creative arts. You just need to be able to be seen and pushed because we have gurus who are of Ghanaian origin, who reside abroad, yeah. like the badasses, you know, like yeah. the, you know, we have top, top, top yeah. notch people in the creative arts industry abroad, who can actually lend a hand when authorities really want yeah. to. Let, let's circle back to where we started, fifth dimension. Why fifth dimension? <laughs> <laughs> I know you're taking it in deep breath. Yeah. Fifth dimension because, you know, we're moving forward. Okay. You know, we're getting into different dimensions. You know, we have the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Okay. And this is my fifth dimension. Coincides to be my fifth studio album as well. And, you know, the styles that I've been propagating over the years is quite interesting. I'm one person who has a hit song in high life. So, bolo, so, but I come back. One of my that. favorite. I, think I, I wanted them to play, but they say if I play YouTube or Strikers. <laughs> So they will say it's copyright. Uh -huh. And I say, ah, but Stoneboy owns that. He said, no, 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 Stoneboy. You don't need one. You know, I can't play. Exactly. So we can't play. But yeah. Stoneboy is a fan. Yeah. I like the one that you perform live. Yeah. With, with was, was fascinating. With band. So, so yeah, okay. Oh, so I think I have 
a sobolo hit. I have If I Die Today, which is a dancer hit. I have a Afro beat hit. So my style really covers. I, I term it to be music of black origin because that is how high my inspiration, you know, goes. Yeah. So I needed to put all of those into a very, you know, suitable situation where the world can assimilate in today's time, which is still going to be futuristic and live on. So the fit dimension could be the name that will fit, you know, because when you read about the fit dimension as well, you realize that it's something that takes you not only in the physical realm, it takes you into the astral places, yeah. you know, etc. So where do you want to where do you, where do you want to go with this album? What when you did it and you launched it? Yeah. Everybody has a dream, right? Yeah, when you for do sure. something. For sure. When you did this album, yeah. where did you see it going? Um, by the time I completed this album, I knew that I've been able to take majority of the boxes that could make this album live as a global album. Okay. Exactly. Great. Okay, so so that definitely was there. Was it's it's yeah. where you want to land exactly. land with with this one, uh, and 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 indeed we've talked a lot about music, and I know you um you, you trace your roots back, and you and you love where you've come from. <laughs> I mean, and and so in the next five ten years, where do you see yourself? Trust. Um, I really only do have the power now now yeah like as you speak yeah because i can't even tell what will happen in tomorrow the yeah that's true in the next minute yeah. sometimes i'm able to tell because i my yeah. prophetic yeah yeah it comes along it comes yes, along yes 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 but i mean realistically i really in the next five ten years would be growing and i would just pray that my music if there's one act mm -hmm. you want to feature on the next song on the yeah song. international okay. anywhere well, anywhere in the world though who would it be who has been your <laughs> who, who has been that one person you've been dying to feature i featured most of the people that i've been dying to feature uh -huh. okay most Great. because i have to be grateful the shaggies the beanie mans the sean paul the angelic kijos you know that is internationally so right now i'm thinking technical too much okay you know, to be able to just move like fan fan i okay. would do taylor swift you know, You're kidding me? Yeah, I'll do a Taylor Swift or a Rihanna. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to that Taylor Swift yeah. one. I'm, lo <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Would be very fascinating indeed. And I understand you are in school too. Goodness me, Stone Boy. Yeah, you're looking. Who, who gave me the hint? I, <laughs> I understand you are in school. Stone Boy. You're in school with all the work that you're doing. You're actually still in school. Why? You don't want people to know you're in school. You are in school. I do. Yeah, you are in school. What are you doing? Some, some. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then you are in the same school with Samimi. That's my. That's our SRC president. You are kidding me. Did you guys plan that? Please no. You didn't. No. Because I know you. You and Samimi back in the day. Absolutely. You know. We didn't plan that. Okay. I think great minds think alike. So. So what do you do? What do you do at Gimpa? I do public administration. That's interesting. Yeah. So you want to you graduate to be a public administrator? Administrator? Oh me, I'm in the public already. <laughs> That's so true. I'm I, just, I just have to equip myself. I mean, realistically, I just really wanted to equip myself. You know, apart from the fact that I would want to have, you know, um, I mean, I went to UP, UPSA yeah. in marketing, but as time went on, I feel like this is what I really want to equip myself with: public administration, so that. You know, I can be able to fit in. Still and more, you, 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 you are rich now, right? No, <laughs> you're not no, rich. No, no, no. So, but you are. You are well, it depends on how you say rich, rich. You know. So, you, mean, so what would you call it? So you're not rich, so you're what? No, well, come on, man. I'm not the wealthiest guy. Okay. In Ghana, but I'm not poor at all. But some say, in terms of the musicians, you are the richest. I, I, I could claim it. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Stoneboy, that's the headline. Stoneboy claims richest musician tag. I could yeah. claim it. That's yeah. what I said. I, I could. Okay. Just because I, I, I think that God is blessing me in a sense that, you know, he said he who finds something to do and does it diligently is going to bless it. I mean, that is a confident talk. Realistically, I'm not poor. I'm nowhere near poor because I have food, clothes, and shelter. I have two beautiful babies. I have a wife that I'm capable of taking care of. I have a foundation that I'm also putting blood, sweat, and tears so I cannot 
say that I am mm. not rich. In, in that you sense, I am. You claim it. You I have some gold teeth. I can see that. I can see yeah. that. I can see that. <laughs> can see that. <laughs> how, how, how much does one cost, by the way? This is made here, right here in Ghana, because we have the gold. We have the gold coast of the world, remember? How much? How much? Your wife is a dentist. Exactly. Did, did, did he put that in for you? No, I had uh, somebody to But come on, they could have done this at home, you know. There are different people who do different things. Oh, come on. This is, this is the place that he owns that part. Okay. She makes sure that your your you know your anything that has to do with your mouth it's, it's okay. is solid. <laughs> this one is aesthetics. You're not gonna tell me how much the one costs, right? It's it's really not that expensive. That's expensive. It's really not that. But the question, be honest, it, this would be like um, I did write in Ghana, one of our Ghana boys. You see what I'm saying? I know. Um, I don't know if I should mention, but yeah, this shouldn't cost more than six hundred dollar you know for what what i have these two yeah. you know like, can i get one oh yes absolutely okay we can hook you up on your on your tab you pick the tab yes of course okay i'm gonna get a again a gold of course you know why i'm i falling in love with wearing this lately because bro knowing that i'm from the gold coast and i have nothing to show off it i mean i don't want to sound shallow but i like the i like the reason behind that yeah, i mean like so and and I, the reason i was asking whether you're rich is someone say but you're right you don't need school I mean, that's what people think. I've, you've made it. Mama, I made it. Why are you going back to school? I mean, um, school is important. You know, we learn every day, not only in the classrooms, but if you do have the opportunity and you do want to and you can, and I think you should go for it. Okay. That because makes sense. There are so many things um, that are hidden in the book. That you, you know? If you don't study, you won't find Okay, and t talking about the fact that uh, your old G, Samini, is your SRC president, are you still cool? I believe so. Oh, I believe so. Yes. yes. It, you, uh, or you're not sure? No, I believe so is okay. a strong statement. Strong statement. Okay, so it's so. definitely it's cool. Yeah, I believe. Uh, and, and and this is the final one before we wrap up. Give me your favorite song on the on the on the on the, fit, on the, on the fit. Jeez. That's the last one. I know I reserved the yeah, most difficult yeah, question for last. Right. But there are 17 <laughs> tracks on that. Yes. So give me your favorite. This, all right. Before I give my favorite, I just want to tell the masses that this album has a drama for the room. Mm-hmm. A Christian for the room. Mm, the, uh, my hands are politicians for the room. My hands are down. Better you to for the idea room. Yes. So you can choose. You can have your favorite. But my favorite would be. Who? I think I'll choose. That's a difficult one. In control right now. Into the future is the oh, great. God, I you song. dodged me there. I was I was waiting for you to agree with me there with Manoji, right? Yeah, Manoji. Listen. So Manoji is like, my first, and then uh, Into the Future is my second. Okay, so even you are picking two. So you see me. No, no, I first and second. So your favorite is none of these. Uh, now, now I'm going to listen to yours. What, what's yours again? Mine is in control in control into okay. the future and where is the love okay so first in control <laughs> yeah into the future okay into the future which is mine yeah and, where and is okay the where's the love so two of your top three but i have top 17 can i mention them please go ahead from track one to 17 go ahead that's it from track one to 17. okay all of it yes please okay. i'm telling you the truth okay well Since these songs were carefully selected out of almost 60 plus songs for the album what would the rest when would, when would you release the rest they will come. Okay, but you should you should feature me, you know, as I said at the beginning. I'm, I, I'm I, 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 I might... Maybe you might want to give us some bars so people can can be convinced. Ah, he's asking me to rap, come on. <laughs> you know, he, <laughs> he hasn't been on a cappella. Me, I'm a journalist. Why do you want me to do... Oh, I can do on a cappella right now so that you can do your rap. Okay, fine. Let me just do it so you can do your rap. Let, let's go. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, something more sweet and ginger. She never get it. I just see you where you know in no be one time Baby, I want to go into the future with you I'm gonna believe you on the end of the road Give me your love and you know it's safe Baby, never listen to what them say Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
Oh yeah, I I dodged the bullet. Enjoy the rest of the evening. <laughs> <laughs> See me, Chambers, when we will possibly have an album together, and then you hear my lyrics on that. But thank you very much, Tomoy. Thank you for coming. Enjoy the rest of your day, and all the best, thank all the way to the top. Thank you very much.